Welcome back, everyone. If you haven't seen part one, jumping right into part two, huh? Bold life choice. Wish I could live on the edge like that. Time for the pants. Add a cube and in edit mode, scale it down. Add my obligatory mirror and subdivision modifiers. Add an edge loop down the middle and disable optimal display on the subdivide. Select and delete one half. Select the top face and delete it. Grab our outer face and line it up with the outside of the leg. Select the bottom face and move it up. Inset with I, extrude and pull down on the Z axis to the bottom of the pants. Delete this bottom face and reposition these vertices lower. Now, move stuff around to get the shape to match the reference. It's currently very low poly, so the subdivision modifier will keep the legs rounded nicely through this part. Add an edge loop here and resize it. Continue moving stuff around to match the reference. Add an edge loop here and scale it up. Slide it up a bit and add another edge loop. Now scale and position these on the x-axis. Apply the mirror and subdivision modifiers in that order. Select and delete one side. Add a mirror and subdivision modifier. Get everything back in line with the reference. In general, only scale on the y-axis from the side and the x-axis from the front. I'm going to select and dissolve some extra edge loops I don't need and then continue matching everything to the reference. Add an edge loop up here and do some slight edge slides. Dissolve this edge. Use the knife tool to cut a loop around his inner leg. And add a partial edge loop here. Use the knife tool to cut here and disable the mirror modifier. Select these two vertices and join them with J. Use the knife tool to cut along the back of his pants. And edge slide some stuff around. Add a new edge here with J and dissolve this edge with X. Let's slide some stuff around. Cut an edge in here. Dissolve these edges. Continue moving stuff around. Cut an edge in here and dissolve this edge. Move stuff to match the reference and smooth out his bum. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the shading back here, so I use the knife tool to cut like this. And then dissolve this edge. Move these vertices away from each other so it looks like, like he has a wedgie. <laughs> Smooth any last things out, and that looks pretty good. Select this bottom edge loop, shift D to duplicate and extrude down. Scale to match the reference. Select all and smooth shade. Add a cube, scale and position it to be the shoe. Add a subdivision modifier and a mirror modifier. Since the shoes don't touch, the modifier order doesn't matter. Use the pants as the mirror object. Scale the cube down to fit this edge of the shoe. Add an edge loop at the top and the bottom of this cube. Select the top face and hit I to inset a face. Scale and position. Select the bottom face and extrude it downwards. Scale it down slightly. Extrude again and pull down to the bottom of the shoe. Select the front face and extrude it forward. Grab the top vertices and pull them down. Add an edge loop in the middle of this area. Grab these top vertices and drag them down. Add an edge loop and click once. Hit E and F to use the bottom of the shoe as the edge loop guide. Place it where the shoes jut out. Add an edge loop again and sharpen this edge. Pull the back vertices around to match the reference. Grab these two vertices and move them on the X axis. Select the bottom faces and inset them with I. Select these front vertices and scale them. Switch to the bottom reference and scale the edge loops to match. Select the bottom vertices and move them down a bit. And move the back vertices back even more. 
in solid view and face select, alt select this loop of faces. Extrude and scale on the X and Y axis. Add an edge loop to the top and bottom of these faces. Select all in smooth shade. Add another edge loop, line it up with where the toes start. Select these four faces and delete them with X. Select these four vertices and hit F to make a face. In Edge Select, select this edge and hit F to fill this open hole. Add an edge loop here. Select this edge and scale it on the Y axis by zero. Dissolve this previous edge loop and add a new, better one in. Add an edge loop here and here. That should work as the shoes. Add a cube, place it somewhere that you can work on it. Pull the front face back. Extrude, scale, and rotate slightly forward. Extrude again. Move vertices around kind of like this and add a subdivide modifier. Delete the back face. Scale down these loops until it looks something like this. Alt select the back open square vertices, shift D to duplicate. Move it over and extrude forward and hit F to fill in the face. Add two edge loops. Select and hide the big toe. Select these bottom vertices in wireframe and pull them up. Move these edge loops forward and rotate this one a bit. Scale this front face. Alt-H to unhide the big toe and move stuff around to make it look more like a toe. Scale and move into position. Shift D to duplicate this and scale it down. Do that three more times. Select the edge between the toes and hit F to join them. With only these bottom vertices selected, pull them down on the Z axis. Select all the bottom vertices and scale by zero on the Z axis. Select this outer back loop and extrude it back. Grab these top vertices and pull them up. I ended up with a stray face in here on accident, so I deleted it. Recalculate normals outside if you have this weird shading going on here. Select these back vertices and pull them up on the Z axis, kind of sloping the foot as you do. Select this part of the bottom edge and lift it up to make the toes look less weird. There's another weird edge in here I had to get rid of, must have accidentally clicked something. Quickly reshape the toes slightly. Now scale the foot down and position it on the shoes. Reposition these back vertices so the foot fits the shoe. Select the front of the toes and rotate them so that they touch the sole of the shoe. When I was setting up the turntable, I suddenly felt like his foot looked weird, so I decided to move some things around. Here's a picture of his brand new and improved foot. Obviously the original foot would work, but I'm super duper fussy and I hate everything, so you know, do whatever you want to do, I'm not your dad, love you, bye!